Hi beautiful people, thank you for clicking on this video. If you are new here, D is my name and today I'll be teaching you how I made this beautiful collar top. It's pretty easy to make. It's made in rounds starting from the bottom and then once we get to this point where we start the sleeves from, we are going to work on the back separately and once we're done with that we'll make the front panels and then we'll make the collars and then we'll do this ribbing around the sleeve which is a front and back post double crochet i hope you like this video as much as i did and please leave me a comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet my top is 18 inches long but you can make yours longer or even shorter if that's what you prefer let's get started in this tutorial i'm using some of my leftover yarn from my previous project uh this is two of one's color theory all season yarn it is a size 4 yarn it recommends a 5.5 millimeter hook but i'm going to use a small hook which is a four millimeter hook then you're going to need a tape measure you will need scissors and you're going to need a tapestry needle all right so i'm going to start with this color right here so you're going to make a slip knot insert your hook and make a chain long enough to go around your bust for my case, I'm a size large and I'm going to make a chain of 150. I'm done with my chain of 150. So once you're done with your chain, place it around your chest, around your bust, all the way to the back and see if you like the fitting. If you don't like the fitting, if it's too tight, add more chains. If it's too loose and you don't and you don't want it to be that loose, then take off a few chains, but keep in mind that your chain needs to be in an even number. So you're going to make sure that your chain is not twisted because we're going to be working in rounds. Okay, and in the first chain, insert your hook. Then pull through the loop like so. Chain two, which does not count as a stitch. Yarn over, and in that same space, you're going to make a double crochet. So double crochet then i will be working in the back bumps of my chain so i'm going to turn my chain around and work through these bumps that you're seeing so yarn over double crochet into the back bump of the next stitch make a double crochet in the back bump of the next stitch and i'm going to continue like this all the way around making one double crochet into every stitch When you get to the end, I need you to count and make sure that you have the same number of stitches that your foundation chain was. Mine was 150, so I have a total of 150 stitches. When you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. And that's the end of row one, row two. You're going to chain two, turn your work. The chain two does not count as a stitch, so you're going to yarn over, and in that same stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, and in the next, make a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next 
chain one skip one and double crochet into the next stitch and you're going to repeat with this pattern all the way around When you get to the end, you will have one stitch left to skip, so skip it and slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Chain two again, which does not count as a stitch and turn your work. Yarn over and on top of that first stitch, insert your hook and make a double crochet. Double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the first next double crochet yarn over double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the next double crochet from previous row double crochet in the chain one space and you're going to repeat making one double crochet on top of every stitch and a double crochet in the chain one space all the way around When you get to the end of row three, you're going to simply slip stitch on top of the first stitch, like so. Chain two and turn. And now you're going to repeat row two. So we're going to be repeating row two and three. We're going to be alternating between those two rows. So make your first double crochet chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch and you're going to repeat that this is the part that's going to sit right under your bust so right before where right under where your breasts start from that is where you want it to stop and then we shall continue working on the upper part and then i will be showing you the rest as we go okay i'm back and i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven rows and so far it's about five inches and i'm now going to I'm now going to change color to this one and we are going to make a few rows of just double crochets without the mesh so you're going to turn your work and make a slip and make a slip knot with your new color if you're using one color it's okay you're simply going to continue um, you're going to insert your hook in the same stitch you slip stitched into. Okay, chain two, which does not count as a stitch, yarn over, and in that same stitch, make a double crochet. Double crochet on top of the next stitch double crochet on top of the next stitch continue like that making one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get back to the end so for this row we're not making this mesh we're not chaining one anywhere and we're not skipping anything just make one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end. When you get to the end of the row, you're simply going to slip stitch on top of the first double crochet, like so. Then chain two, which does not count as a stitch, turn your work, and in that same stitch, make a double crochet, double crochet on top of the next stitch, double crochet on top of the next stitch, and you're going to make one double crochet on top of every stitch all the way around, and you're going to repeat. Um, 
you're going to repeat those two rows okay you're simply making just the double crochets without the mesh until you have enough coverage for your bust okay so once you get to the end you're simply going to slip stitch on top of this first stitch chain two turn your work and repeat the pattern just like that i'm going to continue repeating this pattern until i have enough coverage for my bust and then i will be back so we can uh, work on the rest all right guys so now this is what i have from this point i have added a total of 15 rows and i'm running out of color so i'll just be adding in let's see i may add this one um yeah it's the same brand but a different color it's slightly off and i still have this so i will just be mixing the colors together the way i see fit but back to the tutorial once you have reached to this stage we're now going to separate the front from the back so we can start creating the sleeves if you want it longer make more rows before you proceed to making the sleeves to make the sleeves um this is where we have been making our slip stitches so i'm going to put this uh, this to the side now it's it won't be to the back so it's going to be to the sides like so so you're going to divide your stitches into two to get the back panel and get the front so for me i had chained a total of 150 i'm going to divide 150 by two which gives me 75 so that means i'm going to count from this stitch I'm going to count 75 stitches and then I'll place there a stitch marker and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I have counted my 75 stitches and I have placed my stitch marker. This strand here is counting as my first stitch marker. Okay, so now what we're going to do is start with the back panel working back and forth until we have enough length and while we're doing this we're going to be considering the sleeves so once you have enough space for your sleeve you have to stop at that at that point okay i'm going to use this color make a slip knot and then make sure you start from where you're supposed to be turning your work from because here you see i was supposed to turn my work so I'm going to start from where I have this stitch marker all the way to this point. In that stitch marker, that's where I'm going to insert my hook. Okay, I can even take this off. I don't need it no more. So attach your new color. Chain two which does not count as a stitch. Then in that same space, make a double crochet, double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to make one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the next stitch marker. When you get to the end, chain one, skip one. This is my last stitch right here. So I'm going to place there my last double crochet, like so. Chain one and two. So chain two, turn your work. And on top of this very stitch, you're going to place there a double crochet. The chain two does not count as a stitch and over make a double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the next double crochet 
double crochet on top of the in the chain one space double crochet on top of the next stitch and you're going to repeat with this pattern until you get to the end making a double crochet on top of the stitch and a double crochet in the chain one space from the previous row okay when you get to the end place your la make your last stitch on top the, of that last stitch right there chain two which does not count as a stitch turn your work and we are now going to repeat this row of mesh so make your first double crochet on top of that same first stitch chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next and repeat the same pattern until you get to the end of the row okay once you get to the end make your last stitch chain two turn your work and we are now going to repeat this row that we have here okay double crochet on top of that first stitch double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the next stitch double crochet in the chain one space and you're going to repeat like that until you get to the end of the row all right guys you're going to repeat those last two rows until you have enough length until you have enough space for your sleeve because that is what we are considering at this point make it until the space is enough for your arm to go through okay i'm going to make mine about seven or seven and a half inches long and then i will be back so i can show you guys what to do next all right guys i'm back and from where we th we started from making the sleeve to where we are i have made a total of 16 rows and this is about seven and a half inches long as you can see right here so this space is enough for my sleeve um we're now going to work on the front panels uh, so remember we have a total of 75 stitches left in the front so we're going to divide those by two so 75 when you divide that by two you get 37 and a half so i went ahead and counted 37 stitches here and 37 stitches on this side and i have this stitch left in the middle meaning this is going to be this this is going to be the center of my top okay so in this stitch where i have my stitch marker that is where i'm going to start from to make my front panel so i'm going to cut this off remember to chain one and pull tight make a slip knot And from this point where we have the stitch marker, we're going to attach our yarn. Chain two, which does not count as a stitch. I'm going to remove this. And in this same space, I'm going to make a double crochet. Chain one, skip the next stitch and into the next, make a double crochet, chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next i'm going to repeat this until i get to the end when you get to this part where we have the sleeve um we have this stitch here you're going to chain one here and over and place a stitch right where we started the back panel from so insert your hook right there and double crochet like so so we're now going to be working
back and forth repeating the same pattern we did for the back and I'm going to do this for a total of 16 rows just like I did with the back panel chain 2 turn your work double crochet on top of the same stitch double crochet in the chain one space double crochet on top of the next stitch double crochet in the chain one space and repeat this pattern until you get to the end and when you get to the end you're going to end with a double crochet on top of that last stitch chain two turn your work and i'm now going to repeat the mesh row which is one double crochet okay. one double crochet chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next and i'm going to repeat this all the way around I'm back and i quickly wanted to show you guys how to start the other side of the top and as you can see i'm really stretching my yarn to make sure that it's enough so i'm making a slip knot and remember on this row we're supposed to turn our work so do not start your next row from the center make sure you start it from the armhole part right here so i'm going to insert my hook right in that same stitch pull through chain two and in the same stitch double crochet in the same stitch chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next chain one skip a stitch double crochet into the next and you're going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end when you get to the end you're going to chain one and yarn over skip this next stitch and place your last stitch in the same stitch that this one is in like that then chain two and turn your work and then you're going to repeat the pattern it was important for me to show you guys how to work this row so from here on the rest is the same just like i showed you guys how to do this panel i'm back guys and i have made 16 rows for both sides from here all the way to where we are i have 16 rows completed so now we're going to join the shoulders and to do that i'm going to join about five inches on each side so i'm going to measure five inches on this side and measure five inches on this side as well and then i'll join that part and then i'll leave the middle open for the neck hole okay so remember to do this on the wrong side of your top this is this is my right side so i'm going to turn the top, the top around so i can join it you're going to mark where you want the shoulder seam to stop and for me i'm going to join from here all the way to the stitch marker so i'm now going to join with a single crochet I'm going to go back in that same stitch with a single crochet and I'm going to be I'm going to make single crochet in every stitch for both sides until I get to the stitch marker if you if you prefer to use a darning needle go ahead and use that This is my last stitch and I'm going to make my last single crochet then slip stitch in that same stitch to complete chain one 
get your scissors and cut leaving a long tail that you can weave in you're going to join the second shoulder as well the same exact way so for me this is going to be the neck hole so next we're going to i'm going to reattach my yarn on this strand all right so now we're going to work around the neckline we're going to make a few more rows so i'm going to start from here by chaining two and in that same space make one double crochet and then i'm going to make one double crochet in every stitch all the way around until i get to this other side This is my last stitch for this row. Chain two, turn your work, and I'm going to repeat that row. So for this uh, neck part, we are just making simple rows of double crochets over and over, back and forth, until you have your desired length. I will be changing colors again because I still have a little bit of this color so I might change um I also still have a bit of this so I'll just see how to mix it all in there so I'm simply going to chain one cut this color off Then I'm going to use my new color. I'm going to use this color. Make a slip knot. So here I'm supposed to turn my work and I'm going to insert my hook right on top of this first stitch and attach my new color. Chain one. Chain two. And on top of that same stitch, make a double crochet. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet on top of the next stitch. And you're going to repeat making one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end. When you get to the end, you're going to chain two, turn your work and repeat. I'm going to do that and I will be back once I'm done with this neck part. I'm back. This is what I have for my collar and this is how it looks. So it's going to be folded like so. Like you must have already seen in the pictures. Um, so we're now going to seal it off with a row of single crochet. All right, guys, so you're going to make a slip knot. And starting from the collar right here is where we're going to insert our hook. I'm going to work over this strand as I go. chain two and in that same space make a single crochet single crochet in the next space make another single crochet in that same space so we're making two single crochets in every space in a, in every side row if i must say okay So single crochet in every side row. When you make it to the middle here, you're going to place there a stitch, a single crochet. So place there a single crochet and then cross over to the other side and continue making two single crochets in every side row. Then when you get to the collar, you're going to make one single crochet on top of every stitch and get back to this other side.
Okay, so every stitch gets a single crochet for the collar part right here. All right, now I'm at the, I'm starting to work on top of every stitch, making one single crochet. And I will work over these strands as I go. When you get to the end, your last stitch is going to be on top in the same row where the, this single crochet is, this very first one. Single crochet. Then you can go back with a slip stitch. Oops. Slip stitch, chain one. Then I'm going to weave this in later. Make a slip knot. And on this, we're going to insert a hook in this middle stitch where we have both stitches for both sides. So insert your hook right there and attach your yarn. Chain two. And in that same space, make a double crochet. Then yarn over and make two double crochets in the next side row. Make two double crochets in the next side row. You're going to keep making two double crochets in every side row until you get back here where we started from. When you get to the end, you're going to make your last two double crochets in that space and then slip stitch on top of the first double crochet, chain two and turn your work. Make one double crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end of the round. This is my last stitch for the sleeve and then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the first stitch, chain two, turn my work and I'm now going to make a row of the front and back post double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and over this next stitch you're going to make a front post Make a back post, make a front post double crochet, make a front post, you insert your hook under the stitch, pull up a loop and double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook from the back and push that double crochet to the back, pull up a loop and double crochet. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. I'm at the end of my row and I'm now going to slip stitch on top of the first front post double crochet, chain one, and in that same space, I'm going to make a single crochet, single crochet on top of every stitch until you get to the end. And this is going to be our last row for the sleeve. Making one single crochet on top of every stitch from the previous row. When you get to the end, make your last stitch 
then slip stitch on top of the first single crochet you made right there chain one get your scissors and cut leaving a long tail that you can weave in so pull this tight then get your darning needle and weave in that strand You'll go ahead and make your second sleeve the same exact way and this is what you will have. I hope you guys liked the tutorial. Thank you for watching and I will see you all in my next tutorial that is coming up next. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Bye bye.